After hearing Owen's uh, colloquium today about epicycles, I was inspired to play around with Worldwide Telescope to give people some fun views. And so here's what happens if you look at the solar system from just a normal solar-centered perspective, a heliocentric solar system. So you can see the Earth and the Moon going around the Sun in a well-behaved way. And you can see Mercury and Venus. And this is, this is the mode where the planet size is exaggerated. So, you know, that would be can't see the planets <clears throat> from this distance that exaggerated. So here, let me put them back to exaggerated. So this is what you expect to see. And when you see Jupiter entering, which is obviously very easy to see going around, um, you see that while its moons appear to go backward and forward, it appears to go only forward, uh, viewed in this uh, sun-centered solar system. No strange uh, retrograde motion. But then what's fun is you can actually look at the solar system as if it was centered on Earth. So let me pause here for a second and then go to Earth. Okay, and actually so, so center the solar system on Earth. So here we tip this down a little bit so you'll still be able to see Jupiter. And then actually zoom out a bit so that we can even see the sun. Turn it around so that we can look toward the inner solar system. And then we'll maneuver planets into place by adjusting time. Okay, so now this, the Earth is going to stay fixed as the center of the solar system. And uh, let's zoom out a little bit so that we can find Jupiter. There it is. Okay. And so we can see this bizarre view. So let me zoom in a little bit now so that we have Jupiter in our sights. It's a good example. And you can see it appearing to wobble backwards and forwards in its orbit. I let things go um, just a little bit farther, a little bit faster, and then I slow it down again uh, when we get to the point where we can uh, see Jupiter again, which will be very shortly. Come on, Jupiter, there you go. All right, so let's slow it down then when we get to Jupiter. And now you can see that if the Earth is the center of the solar system, sure, the Sun looks like it goes around the Earth, but Jupiter does some quite bizarre things. As do, of course, the other planets. It's just easier to see Jupiter because its uh, exaggerated size is so big here on the screen. And so you can see it going forwards and backwards and then occasionally making large forward progress when things line up just right. And then appearing to go backwards in a retrograde, epicyclic way every once in a while. And so uh, if anyone ever wants to, we can do crazy things like put in uh, Ptolemy's view and actually plot, instead of the normal orbits, which look quite strange here, uh, plot Ptolemaic cycles and epicycles. And then uh, I think it would be very clear what all those people in the Middle Ages had in mind. Anyway, I just thought it was fun that we could do this, and I'll share this movie now with Curtis and Jonathan and Owen and Pat. Bye.